my channel. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, today I'm going to be going over the uh, tasting test of the Sierra Nevada Pale clone that I brewed uh, about a month ago from Midwest Supplies. Um, it's an extract beer and I added some stuff to it to kind of jump start it, including a yeast starter, a uh, pound of dry malt extract, uh, some water salts, um, just basic stuff that helps extract taste better because I think they're lacking a lot of times. So um, anyway, I was going to give you a close up pour and uh, smelling notes and tasting notes of the whole thing and uh, I think it turned out really well. I tasted it like about Weekend, about a week ago almost, and it was not carbonated like I thought it should be. Um, it wasn't ready yet, but uh, I tested a little bit earlier, and it, it seemed like it was carbonated. I, I didn't taste it because I wanted to do it on camera to give the full effect. And I'll be honest with you, if I don't like it, because like I said, I'm an all grain, I'm an all grain guy, but I've been trying to develop uh, the extract brewing uh, to make it better, and I've, I'm adding more stuff to give it higher alcohol, you know, content and uh, more body, more flavor more maltiness because those kind of kits, those, those extract kits, it's not just Midwest Supplies, it's all of them. Yeah, they, they just lack, you know, they say you make better beer with uh, all grain and I believe that, you know, in a circumstance. But I want to get to where I can tolerate making extract brews and, and, and like them just as much as my all grain batches that, that are drinkable. And I think I've achieved this with this Sierra Nevada Pale clone that I made. And uh, So uh, let me get the camera reset up and then I'll, I'll give you a close setup up to my tap over here and uh, I'll give you a pour and I'll give it a taste test. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a pour and see how she pours. Um, one thing I want to note on these cool glasses I got from a thrift shop, 55 cents a piece. Um, you don't see these unless you order them usually and uh, they're <laughs> pretty expensive so it's a pretty cool find. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the tap and um, see how she pours. Really nice carbonation, I can already tell. Um, here we go. There it is. Well, as you can see, um, it's got nice head retention. It's very carbonated. And um, let me get the camera set back up and we'll give it a taste test. Okay, um, as you can see, um, very carbonated. Uh, the head retention is pretty good for an extract beer. I'm pretty impressed so far, and it may be because of the dry malt extract I added, you know. But I can almost even see lacing, you know, on extra, which I've never had that much lacing on an extract brew, so i um, pretty stoked about that. But the color, I mean, it's it's a pale ale. I mean, it's all there. The color looks good. So, um, the smelling notes, cascades. Um, now, I dry hopped with uh, about an ounce of, uh, or one ounce of uh, leaf hops uh, cascade for two weeks in the secondary. So, this it's really coming out in this um, in this uh, aroma. Very much so. Um, in fact, um, it it tastes. I mean, it smells almost better than the actual Sierra Nevada. Uh, so, uh, or the smelly notes are. So, uh, let's go ahead and give it a whirl and see how it turned out. You guys, um, anybody that ever tells you you can't make good beer with extract, um, don't listen to them because you can. And, the, and I'm an example because, I mean, look at the lacing on this stuff. And if you taste this, I mean, I wish you guys could taste this. Um, I would buy this right now. I'm not just saying that. I promise you, this is this is very, very good beer. Uh, drinkable is not even the word. I mean, it's, it's purchasable, if that makes sense. I mean, I would go buy this beer every day. Um, all I did was just add, you know, like I said, a pound of dry, dry malt extract, um, some uh, water salts, and I did a, a very healthy yeast starter before with a stir plate, 
you know, and, and um, had a smack pack and um, put it in there for 24 hours and doubled the yeast count, poured off the top of the leftover wort in the beaker uh, uh, and uh, put it inside the fermenter and it started fermenting within two hours. Like my beer and here's fermenting right now, I'll give an update on that. It's a chocolate, uh, oatmeal, cookie, oatmeal cookie chocolate stout, sorry. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick review on this and look at the carbonation of this thing. I mean, and the lacing. I mean, um, cheers guys, um, happy home brewing. I uh, hope I can help. If you have any questions, just leave them below so I can help you answer them. Um, um, thanks for watching my video and uh, stay tuned for more. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have a lot more brewing videos uh, and helpful tips. So uh, anyway guys, uh, cheers. And I'm, I'm an extract believer now. <laughs>